if my husband was to have to go to this workshop, he would say, oh, I don't want to go to these things. Why do I have to go to these things? It helps me relate to the tradespeople that I'm talking to. I think it's really important that workers understand the history of the Lower Mainland, that they're working in the shared territories of the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam people. In my dad's lifetime, it changed dramatically. Going from living with his grandmother, Mary Capeline, or on the waterfront in their home where Lionsgate Bridge is now, and going for clams every morning and filling her baskets. It was all about nature, all about history, speaking the language. And then one day, they take him away to residential school and everything changed. And because of that, he would not speak the language. So I cannot speak the Skohomish language at all. Our instincts as Indigenous people to survive and be strong. It's, it's important for people to understand that. And I think they really take to heart my words. Facts are important, the dates are important. But hearing stories of people who went through it has a huge impact on them. One of the clients that came through, this big guy, and he was crying and he said, I'm sorry, I feel so bad that I did not know this. I've grown here, lived my whole life in the Lower Mainland. I had no idea. Nobody ever told me these stories. And my answer is, I'm not here to shame you. I'm not here to make you feel guilty. I'm here so you understand the truth and can reconcile and we all learn to respect and move forward. Every group that leaves says more people should be listening to this.